Hampshire is facing a new problem as there has been an increase in the amount of illegal vapes being sold to under-18s. According to Hampshire County Council, £300,000 worth of illegal products have been seized in the last 12 months, a figure which has doubled since September. Hampshire Trading Standards also found two shops in the Havant and Aldershot area illegally selling vapes to underage buyers during one of their undercover operations. Councillor Russell Oppenheimer, who is part of the County Council's Cabinet, said in the following statement voiced over by our presenter Joel Marriott, The rise of vaping by young people is a real worry for parents, so we are ramping up our activities to crack down on illegal sales of vapes to under-18s. I'm glad the government is going in that direction. I do think youth vaping is something we should continue to crack down on, and I'm sure we will. Following the Prime Minister's announcement to ban vapes, the focus has been set mainly on disposable vapes, which are a key driver behind the alarming rise in youth vaping, according to the government. But why is everyone so concerned about underage vaping? Well, a survey across secondary schools and colleges in Hampshire found a large increase in the number of young people both experimenting with and using vapes. It showed that youth experimentation with vapes went up from 4 to 53% and vape usage has increased by 11% amongst 11 to 18 year olds. According to the NHS, vapes containing nicotine are more risky when used by young people compared to adults as evidence suggests their brain development is more sensitive to its addictive effects. But what do the public think? I spoke to some locals in Winchester to find out how they feel about this issue. I think it's good because it's, if they're rechargeable ones, you can still buy, but the disposables, they're not very good for you. I think it's a bit annoying. Like, if I want to go out and I don't have my vape on me or I don't have cigarettes, buying a disposable is always really nice, like, because it's short, like, it's a short time span. And you get different flavours as well. Uh, yeah, it's a bit annoying. It's like uh, how they're banning uh, tobacco for, like, kids. Like, they're raising, raising the age. Like, they're, everyone's gonna, they're gonna find a way to get it, regardless. Though the ban isn't set to take place until next year, there's still lots of work to be done to put an end to illegal vapes. Nicolette Grace, Winchester News Online.